Hey, how's it going? Austin here. So if you're new to me, uh, I cover XRP on my channel occasionally uh, when there's something to cover and something to kind of go over. We all know kind of at the end of the day what's going on with XRP. We have the SEC lawsuit that just continues to drag on and uh, indicators are looking like it could be resolved um, later this year in 2022, worst case uh, sometime mid-2023. Okay, and so this is not a video to dig into that lawsuit per se you know, or anything like that. It's a real quick kind of commentary and, and uh, ongoing narrative related to XRP. XRP is one of those uh, cryptos that I've loved, I've traded, I've owned, I've bought and sold it over the years and uh, I've done real well with it. And it's one that I currently do not own because it's a pain in the butt to buy because of, you know, the crypto.coms and the Coinbase's of the world as an example, uh, you know, making it harder, you know, obviously you can't get it on those major exchanges, etc. Okay, so with all that said, here's what it comes down to. Uh, can XRP reach a buck if this happens? Okay, so let's cut to the chase and, and, and kind of look at, 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 at that. Okay, real quickly before we do that, let me, um, let me do this. Let's talk about the fear and greed index right now currently sitting at a 17. So we're, we are rising in that capacity. So let me do, let me go over here to coin. Uh, let's go to CoinGecko, it's fine. Uh, CoinGecko, and then we'll look at kind of the current state of the union with XRP. Right here, right now, XRP is trading, um, you know, in this 41 cent and change range down 1.3%, okay? So in the last 24 hours, it's been to, to almost 42 and a half cents and, you know, and again, been down to almost 41. So again, really tight, narrow range. Now, if you look at kind of the overall crypto market, it's at 1.36. It's, you know, it's stalled out, if you will. But, you know, XRP continues to sit here, you know, with its total market cap of over 20 billion, uh, still, again, a number seven crypto kind of consistently trading back and forth with Cardano. OK, so that's kind of the current price point. Right. OK, so what's it going to take for XRP to basically reach a dollar? OK, so if we go down here, by the way, XRP has lost more than 65% since the uh, since the crypto crash. So that's interesting to uh, note there. Um, uh, XRP's all-time high was $2.70. Again, another interesting thing to note there. I remember those times. Good times, good times. Okay, so right here. Today, XRP needs to break the 50 cent price for us to be able to confirm a trend reversal higher. Looking at figure two, which I believe is going to be right here. Yep. Um, we can clearly see how the first step to the XRP recovery lies above the psychological price of 50 cents. Okay. Once broken higher, we can safely assume that prices are going to continue to break the next prices until the strong resistance of a dollar. Now, fine. I get that. Here's also what's got to happen. And XRP's already shown that it can run a little bit. What also has to happen is we've got to get a situation playing out where the overall crypto market comes back. Period. End of story. Drop the mic. Walk off the stage. If the overall crypto market is not going to go above, it, it, you know, until it gets back over two trillion and above, and we get overall social sentiment positive, remember the fear and greed index scenario, right? We've got to get we've got to get back into where we're in these 40, 50, 60 range right in here. Okay, so we've got to get that to happen. So a lot has to line up. We've got to get people not as scared and 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 fearful of recessions and and kind of all this kind of global supply chain stuff that we. Still Still have and how everything costs more when you go to your local grocery store everything costs more you know milk cheese eggs meat fruit you know the basic things that we all use and have and eat cost more uh, you know fuel costs more which is eating up discretionary income what i mean by that discretionary income is the money you have left uh, money you have left over after you've you know fed yourself and your family and your loved ones and you've put you've put fuel and gas in your car at the end of the day right period end of story and so until we get kind of the social sentiment reset if you will okay um i think that we're going to be here for a while oh and by the way with xrp xrp is going to continue to have the the you know the shroud over it and i'm bad I'm trying to give you kind of visual metaphors of the sec lawsuit do I think it can reach a dollar before the SEC lawsuit is resolved? Yes, I actually do. I do think it can. Um, but it will take everything that I just said to happen 
And then, but when the SEC lawsuit is officially uh, resolved, XRP will run, and I think it'll hit five, six, seven plus dollars in a day, possibly. I mean, it was it's just got so much pent up demand, uh, and it's crazy. And uh, that's what I got for you. As always, I appreciate you. Thanks for giving me a few minutes of your day. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you.